Well, speaking of traffic, we do have a traffic alert for you as you're starting off your work week. A three day closure begins this morning on Freya Street at the North Spokane Corridor. Crime 2's Brandon T. Jones live for us at that location. Brandon, you're helping drivers get around this. What should they know? Good morning. Yeah, good morning. And actually, yeah, crews have already gone out and placed up some of this signage to block off the road. And you may have been able to just hear one of the trucks that have turned around. We've seen at least 20 to possibly 30 different cars and trucks kind of come up to this closure and turn around. You can hear some of that beeping. That's a truck moving back and going around now as well. So a lot of people, it looks like, have been caught off guard by this. Crews have been out, as mentioned. The closure officially going into place at 5 a.m. as of this morning. Washa says they're closing the south roundabout along with the northbound off ramp from the North Spokane corridor to North Freya Street. And there are two roundabouts on North Freya Street just north of East Francis Avenue that make up the interchange with the North Spokane corridor. So it can get a little bit confusing, but during the closure, crews will be applying permanent striping and there will not be access to on ramp northbound to the North Spokane corridor. This closure will remain in place until Wednesday. Another quick note on construction season, the city of Spokane will continue work today on Market Street. Officials are asking that if you travel through the area to use Division or the Hamilton Nevada corridor. Crews will be paving tonight and Tuesday evening. And with any of the construction season updates that we've provided for you, just always remember, maybe get out of the house a little bit earlier. You can hear another truck turning around right here at this particular roundabout. And again, give yourself a little bit of time to get around all of these detours that are in place. But for now, reporting live here in Spokane, Brandon T. Jones, Crim 2 News.